Welcome everybody to my new segment called Future Father, um, where I discuss things that interest me as a father and the things that I believe all fathers should be interested in. I am a father of five, soon to be six. Uh, I have left basically every, everything, every form of normal, societal, uh, job, work life, and I left it to pursue my ultimate passion, which was, is, to be a father. And for the past few months, I have been basically locked in a house, not literally, but locked in a house with my family and my kids, and we have just been doing everything together. Basically, if you think of what a detox is, I detox like regular normal life. I've been detoxing regular normal life and just bringing it back to what it is to be a family man. Because to me, that is the most important thing in the world. And in my perspective, I can see why a lot of things are happening in this world because of the lack of fathership that we have, um, that we have moved into in this world. There's just a lack of fathership, a fatherhood, whatever you want to call it. But there are no fathers anymore. Where are they? I'm trying to say that there's one trying, and if there are other, like others like me that are trying to be good fathers, you have definitely found the right place and are in the right place because it is a struggle, and I'm here to say you got someone with you because it is a struggle. Trust me. Uh, well, I just wanted to introduce myself and and also talk about basically uh, the title of the video, Where the Man Goes. And the second part of that is Where the Man Goes, So Goes the Family. So I, I believe in God. I go to Catholic Church, uh, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton in Ontario. Um, and we go every Sunday. We get dressed up in our Sunday best, and we go to church as a family. And so goes I. So goes me and my family to church every Sunday because I believe in giving thanks. I believe in giving alms. And I believe not in myself to be the all and all. Um, because I know I am weak. And as a man, we need to be able to be comfortable in our weaknesses so that we can accelerate ourselves as an individual. Um, and humility admitting to yourself that we need help and that we need strength outside of ourselves, that is what we ask for. That is what, we, that is what I pray for, that strength that can only come from something way above me and God, you know. Um, so uh, that is where I am at. That is... That is why I have pursued, taken the risk of pursuing um, something that's not ordinarily pursued. And I've been searching for a long time for others like me. And, you know, it's, they're hard to find. 
because I'm, I want, and, what, and why I say that is because I want to show you why fatherhood has died. It's because of lack of creativity. We failed to create life and thus so, so did our creativity. We stop at one, two children, maybe three. There are a few um, that go beyond that. But good luck finding them. I found a few, <laughs> luckily. So um, anyways, um, if you're hearing in the background, it is noontime, nap time, and I've left, <laughs> I've left my family to do this video. Uh, my wife is trying to put the kids to sleep. So if you can hear her nice, calm, soothing voice, uh, just know that she's just, everything's okay. Don't worry. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, we're the, I'm just looking at my, note, my notes. Um, where the man goes, so goes the family. Where are we going, men? Where are we going? Let's, let's dive into Future Father. Once again, I'm your host, Eddie Sosa. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.